Hello and welcome back. It's Pam from Ben McFuzzy Lugs again. So in our last tutorial, if you want to go and check it, I showed you how to make a needle felted ball and today, another one of the basics, we're going to make a needle felted tube. So again, we need to start with some fleece. Just hold either end and pull so the fibres slide across each other and we'll get a small piece of fleece. Now to make a tube, I tend to like to wrap it round something. You could use a skewer or anything you want, a pencil even, depending on how large you're making something. I tend to have a lot of felting needles around, so that's what I use. So I start holding the end of the fleece up against the top of the needle and I just wrap around and around until I get a nice firm tube, it's slightly thicker at the top, so I'll just add a little more fleece in. Now, what you can do here, if you're very careful and remember where the needle is, I can now felt a little bit through here, avoiding my fingers, so you could do it on the foam pad, but we know I don't like foam pads. So just carefully avoiding my fingers and avoiding the needle, just gently felting a little to get it all to hold together. And once it's not springing apart, then you very gently slide your needle out, keeping a hold of the end so it doesn't all pop out. And then we want to just gently begin felting. Remember, going through most of the way through the piece. Now I want to also felt in the top because a little bit kind of springs out when you pull it out. So I just felt in flat into the top and round, keeping the needle always perpendicular to how I'm going to want this to be, the finished shape to be. Again, felt in more flat for the bottom. And felt in nice, nice and deeply nice and carefully missing my fingers. Again, you could use the pad, felt into the pad and turn the needle. But I find it easier to work holding it in my hand just so long as I'm always aware of where my fingers are. And I do stab my fingers, so you've got to be careful with that. If you keep on felting nice and, nice and firmly into the piece, nice rapid felting motion goes fast or slow. When you're just starting you tend to felt rather slowly, that's okay. Everyone goes at their own speed and then once you get more confident you pick up more speed. Everyone also has their style. It tends to be better for your arms if you keep your elbow tucked in and still and felt just for moving your hand like this. If you wiggle your elbow about then tend to not have the same control and people report having injuries from that like tennis elbow. Now, you can change the size of your piece with how you felt. If you want your tube to be narrower and than it is, then you're doing a lot more felting into it in this direction. If you wanted to shorten it, then you could felt a lot more in at the end. And this way you're in control of how how your piece is. If it's too long altogether, you can even take a pair of scissors and cut it. That's the joy, a wonderful thing about needle felting, is you're not stuck with any shape at all. If it's too short, add more fleece. If it's too long, think about how you're, you're felting it. Or even take a pair of scissors. So I'm wanting this slightly shorter, I'm thinking. So even my felting into the, the length of the body, I'm going slightly the diagonal to encourage the fibres to lock together and move down the way, rather than taking in too much of the thickness of the body. And just like the bowl, you're keeping going until you get a nice solid piece it looks how you want it to. Oh. 
I forgot to say it again in this piece I'm using a 36 gauge needle. Now you can make your end pieces with blunt flat by felting perfectly perpendicular or you can curve the edges over again by thinking about the angle of your needle and felting round to make a nice round rounded edge. It's really whatever your preference. Spend a good 10 minutes at least on these, each piece, depending on the size of it, but at least about a 10, 10 minutes on each little bit to make sure that they're all nice and firmly felted. It's easier, it's much easier to go on to the next stages if you've got nice felted core.